Good morning, everyone. My name is Kim Carlisle. And I'm Sarah Carlisle. And we have a shop full of Heise glassware. We're located just north of Indianapolis, Indiana. And our shop is open at this time by appointment only. So please get a pencil and paper ready. We're going to show you our email address in a minute. This morning's video is another edition of Half Price Thursday. Half Price Thursday, where we pull items out of the shop for storage. And we put them on a table outside this room, and everything will be sold for one half the price that's marked on it. So if you're ready, we're going to show you our email address. Again, my name is Kim Carlisle. And I'm Sarah Carlisle. And the email address is the letter K C A R L I S L at A T T dot N E T. And there is no E on the end of Carlisle on that email address. I'm going to give you a quick little preview of our shop. We have 18 cases and 9 tables, chock full of Heise glassware. We do buy Heise, one piece or an entire collection. So if you know someone that has any Heise for sale, please have them get in contact with us and maybe we can buy it. For this morning's video, we can combine several weeks of videos so we're not sending you maybe a box with just a salt cellar in it. We can put several pieces in that box before you ship it. we ship it to you. So if you're ready, Sarah and I are going to back out of this room and we're going to give you a preview of what is on the table. This Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another edition of Half Price Thursday. You know the routine by now. I'm going to give you a quick little preview of what is on the table this morning. If you see anything you're interested in, you can call, text, or email. If you don't have our telephone number, you can send us an email, and we will give you our telephone number, and then you can start texting us. We can combine several weeks of uh, videos and items so we don't send you a box with not very much in it. Now I'm going to put in a plug for a show I'm going to be doing, and that show is actually going to be starting tomorrow night. It's in Houston, Texas, or, or it's actually southwest of Houston, at Rosenberg, February 18th and 19th. The show is done by Max Miller, an excellent promoter. He always has a huge crowd at this show, so come out on uh, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday and uh, buy some glass. So if you're ready, we're going to get started right back here in the corner. First item, Sarah. We have a Puritan covered nappy. It's a seven inch size. It has a little minor roughness on the handle, wear on the bottom, but no chips or cracks are in it. It's marked in the middle of it with the diamond H and it's $75. Very unusual piece. Here we have a beaded panel and sunburst cracker jar and cover. The bottom, I believe, is in good shape, isn't it, Sarah? Yeah. The lid, you can see a place on the lid. It has a, I'd say 95% of the lid is there, but it does have a chip there on the back side of it. Turn around the back side, nobody will ever notice it. And the price on that is $75. Next, we have six Sahara Empress seven inch plates, and they're $8 each. You can take one or all of them. How many of these do we have, Sarah? Seven. Seven, and they're six inch plates around this time. Sahara, seven bucks a piece. Take as many or as few as you want. We have the number 99 squat flamingo candle holders and they're $20 for the pair. Ridgely, ashtray, we have a few of these available. They're five bucks a piece. Salt cellar. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, they're salt cellars. And we have four of them available. There you Here's go. Here's the Ridgely ashtray. And we have six of these available and they're $2 each. I think we have eight of them available. How do you like that? Here's a swan nut cup. Little bitty nut cup, have that price $6 each. Of course, everything we price you, we price that at $6, you're gonna get it for three. This is called Half Price Thursday. We have four of these available. Four of them. Here is Ridgely two-handled nut cups. Both of these are for $15. $15 for the pair. Here we have an unusual piece of Ridgely. It's an oval cigarette. The top part is marked on the inside, has the bottom, and it has a place to sit the cigarette holder and where she's rubbing right there, the corners are rough on there. But anyway, rare piece, and you're going to get it for $7.50 after the discount. Next, we have a piece of twist. It usually has a cover. This one does not. It's a mint dish. The handles are all in good condition. One of them does have a mold mark that looks like a crack, but it's a mold mark, and it is $15. Fancy loop, shot glass. It doesn't have the loops on it, but I guarantee it's fancy loop. Has some pretty good gold on it. Has a couple of little minor nicks right on the bottom. It's $45. Here's a parfait in Old Dominion pattern, flamingo. It has a very, very small little flake on the rim. See that? Really small. It's $10, so it's only $5. Recessed panel candy jar, I believe this is a two pounds variety, has a nice little cutting on the bottom, has a cutting on the lid. On the top of the finial, there's a flake going up the side of the finial, pretty good size flake. Hard to see though, because that cutting and it's $35. Next we have a... Putney and Diamond. Diamond Point. Foot uh, of jelly. jelly. <laughs> Go ahead, I'll let you talk now. 
It's $25, good condition. $25, good condition. We have some more jellies. Here we have a continental jelly. This does have quite a bit of wear in it and it's $15. Next is a sunburst jelly. Good condition, no damage, $25. Somebody collected jellies. Here we have a panel cane jelly. This is probably the hardest one to find. And you can see it's $30, good condition. Next we have a hair receiver. I'm not sure what pattern it is, but it's marked in the middle with the diamond H, and it's $25. And let's see the top of it. It's a hair receiver. That's made to stick your hair in. Women 100 years ago, they'd make things out of that hair. Sounds a little gross to me, but that's what they did. Here we have a plain band. Plain band, nappy. Let's see the top of it. All crimped, all the little balls are intact. It's $15 and it's marked. Here's a piece of fancy loop. It's a little celery and it's $20. Here we have a creamer and sugar. I don't know how, I don't have a clue what the pattern is on this. Has a nice little gold decoration that another company's probably put on it. The lid and all. What's the price on that, Sarah? $25. Here's a cup perfume. Has a nice flower decoration around it. It has the short stopper not the long dripper and it's $55. The top of the stopper is also cut. This pattern is called pointed oval in diamond point. You can see right in the middle of the pattern there's a pointed oval. It's perfect plain. And diamond point is what surrounds that polar oval. This is a really, really old pattern. Never a marked piece. What's the price, Sarah? $75. Here's a piece of sunburst. It does have a couple teeth that have been knocked, but it's only $5. So it's $2 and 50 cents. You can time. use that piece. Here we have a little colonial cruet. It's got a stopper in it. Stopper fits real well. Doesn't look like a high Z stopper, but it might be 10 bucks. Here's a piece of chrysolite. It's a cigarette holder and it's $10. We have two available. All right, here we have a plain panel. Recess, hard to see here in this camera. There you go. You can see this plain panel on top that recesses in. It is marked with the diamond H and it's 20 bucks. And we have a pair of salt and pepper shakers. Same pattern. You can see the pattern in there. See how the panel goes down, then it goes in. Each one of them signed and it's $30 for the pair. Next we have a, I think nine fancy loop butter pads. Seven fancy loop butter pads. They each have a little bit of damage on them. They're twenty dollars each. And when she says they're damaged, these are always rough on the outside. I've never seen one yet that I'd call mint condition. It's just how they come out of the mold. Stanhope salt, uh, salt and pepper. Stanhope. It's a cup and a saucer. Has a black knob. It's thirty dollars. One available. We have a fruit basket with an etching around the rim of it, and it is forty-five dollars. It looks like a Queen Anne lily bowl, orchid etching, good condition. What's the price? $45. My eyes are getting bad. Here we have a pair of mercury candle holders with orchid etch on them, and they are $25. Now we have some salt sellers. Here's the first one, Fandango, Heisey's first pattern, $20. Then we have a fancy loop, a little rough and salt, like all fancy loop, $8. Then we have a Revere, and this Revere is perfectly plain. The Reveres are hard to find in uh, crystal. And how much was that one, Sarah? $10. That one's $10. Then we have another Revere, and this one actually has a star cut in the bottom of it. It's $15, and it's marked. Very unusual for the Reveres to be marked. Here's another Revere. Has a nice little cutting all the way around it. I believe it's marked at the bottom. Has a star on the bottom too. And the price of that one's 20 bucks. We have one more, and we have a narrow flute salt cellar. And it is $3, and I believe we have about four of those available. Next is a Fandango cupped in bonbon. Bon. It does have a little bit of roughness on it, but it's only $15. Yeah, the roughness is actually on the gold, and then the gold is painted over the roughness. All right, here you go, folks. You decide what they are. I don't know if they're wampum or the quilt. I've never learned this pattern. I'm not going to start learning it now. But anyways, $25 for the pair. We have another piece of orchid. It's the small salad bowl in Waverly, and it's $65. Tell, tell them how wide that is, Sarah. It's about eight inches wide. That's yeah, a small salad bowl. Maybe one looks just like it, but a large size. Have a couple pieces of rose. Here is a rose stem rose -esque cocktail, and the price was $25. And we have how many available, Sarah? Eight. Eight, and there we have the rose etch wine, a little harder to find, $35. I think we have about eight of those also. You can take one or as many as you want. 
Here we have a Waverly Fruited Cheese in Orchid Etching, and it's $20. Here we have a Fern Mayo set with the underplate, the mayo, and a spoon. And it is $38 for the set. For the set. And we believe that's a Heisey spoon. Here we have the lid to a Puritan cigarette box. Turn it over. What a shame. Hate to throw it away, but you can see here, along right there, it's all whacked up pretty bad. Bet the price is right. It's only ten dollars. We have a flamingo octagon two-handled nut cup. There are eight of these available, and they're fifteen dollars each. Octagon two-handled cheese and moon gleam. I believe the price is five dollars. We have a mercury moon gleam candle holders. Great color in both of them, and they're thirty-five dollars for the pair. Ipswich creamer and sugar. Good condition. Turn that price around. Thirty-five dollars. Thirty-five bucks. Here is a cute. Pineapple and fan vase with great gold on it. About six and a half inches tall, and it's forty-five dollars. That's the smallest size they made, and that gold is wonderful on it. Ipswich goblet, crystal, fifteen dollars. Ipswich goblet, Sahara, forty-five dollars. Fancy loop, table, creamer, nice looking gold on it. As far as I know, this thing is in really good condition and it's $45. The handle in it is really nice. No damage. All right, folks. Here we have what is usually a Saturn Comport. Has Saturn optic to it, it but this one's Revere. No Saturn optic, but looky there, folks. Beautiful cutting. Cut all over, the foot's cut. Signed at the top of the stem. I wish it was Zircon, but it's not. It's crystal, still a great piece, $125. Next, we have four uh, Flamingo twist plates. They're seven inches wide and they're $8 a piece. Has a little bit of wear to them, like all plates. Here we have a coarse rib pickle dish in marigold stain. It's about eight and a half inches and is $18. And this was always made by another company. They put that stain on them after they bought them in crystal. Here's Moon Gleam plates. They're about eight inches wide and they're $30 each. On each of them, there are very minor roughness on the inside room. And I mean really minor roughness on them. Well, folks, I think that concludes on Half Price Thursday. Hope we see some of it. Just show at Texas. And remember, everybody, we don't want to make any money. We just love to sell Heisey glassware.